All right, y'all. I was wanting to really just give a reshoot of the um, Panasonic V770 camera that I have right here. So I found out some new information or more detailed information about the camera after some further use. So let's go ahead and give a look at the camera, the little back side right here. Now it has a maximum capacity of 10 hours or 128 gigabytes. So in order to do this video, a little house cleaning is in order. My S22 Ultra is being used for this video. The HCV770 is my primary camera. So for the time being, you're gonna have to go and deal with these icons above now I placed the uh, phone on airplane mode so that I don't have any type of things extra happening with it now that I got that out the way let's continue on the video now here's one thing that I do like about this camera when it comes down to this little thread mount for the um, tripod it's made right at the center so that means that I don't have when I feel like you know changing out from the tripod or I don't have to want to change it out from the tripod to really just change the battery or anything because most of that is right toward the end and I just feel like it gives me a seamless transition you know when it comes down to you know changing out a battery or changing out a car so I am not a big fan of holding a camera in this type of fashion but it is a camcorder, so I'm going to use it for that. But for the most part, this will be on a tripod, but it doesn't, it's not really that, that bad. It's just not for me. But it is an option there. And when it comes down to this, I can go ahead and like tighten it up around my hands. It's kind of awkward for me because that's not something that I do. But it is an option. Now, all of the rest of this camera, I can go and show straight through. Now, in my personal opinion, I feel like this camera punches a little bit above its weight class for what it offers. Because it offers things that you don't get anymore. So, it has a 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack. So that you can go in and monitor your audio. It also has a little, you know, proprietary um, charging port. You can go in and see what type of um, charging port that is. And inside, if you look, there is a uh, little headphone jack. In an audio visual, um, audio visual jack as well. Let me correct myself. I call this thing a headphone jack, but what I meant was it's a mic jack. You can go ahead and plug in a um, microphone into this and increase your audio. Now, another thing that I like about this thing is that it has a cold shoe mount. But the cold shoe is just detachable. So what it does is you can go ahead and place it up in there. And if you want to go and decrease the size form or just don't really just want a cold shoe mount at that time, what you can do is press this little you know button right here. And simply take it out. So, what that does is, puts you in control, really. You can go ahead and decide exactly, you know, what type of size that you want or what type of pre preparation you, that you was wanting for whatever, whatever that you're shooting. If you feel like, you know, you need a little bit of audio or probably to assemble a light to it, then you got that choice. 
All right. So for a minute, let's go ahead and do some reading about this. I mean, we have a 5.1 channel zoom, which means that things are just really just concentrated for it. Uh, you have a little windshield here to reduce the wind noise. And if not, then you're going to use a external microphone to really just boost your sound, you know, forward, concentrate it to where it needs to be. For example, if you're giving an interview and you happen to want to be outside, uh, we have a wide angle and zoom in, zoom out toggle right here. And if you was wanting to really just do something special we got a little toggle right here for whatever type of you know adjustments that you need to be going to make to the um camera itself it's full hd so that's 1080p 60 frame uh, 60 frames per second unfortunately you're not going to get any type of you know 24 you know frames per second on this camera but you can edit it down to 24 fr frames per second if you're recording from your computer. Now, the good thing about this thing is that it has a little, you know, um, little, you know, lens, uh, lens cap here. I adapted it to 49 to 58 um, millimeters, but it starts out at 49 millimeters. Um, now. If I'm going to get a second, I'm going to take this thing off so I'm going to show you. Now, if you want to look here, it has these little rings around inside. So, you can go ahead and have an adapter lens on there if you need. If you need more, you know, of a wide angle lens or whatever type of lens. I'm not too familiar with lenses, but I do have one wide angle lens for this thing just in case I was wanting to, to capture a little bit more so another thing that I like about this thing that it has a automatic lens cover so as soon as I turn it on camera turns on lens cover disengages it has a 180 degree little you know monitor right there So, that's pretty cool. We have several options we're going to choose from. We have Intelligent Zoom, Intelligent Auto Plus, High Definition, and a Scene Mode. And Anybody familiar with scene mode? We have, you know, sports, portrait, soft skin, snow, and sunset. Now, from what I got, this thing, uh, the scenes don't really too much make a difference. The main difference, or, you know, if you're trying to go and, like, get a, you know, more, you know, um, scenic view, you'll be better off going through the manual settings that way you can go ahead and uh, set off your you know focus your um, white balance ISO all the other good stuff that way you can go ahead and get the picture that you want as opposed to what the camera is suggesting for you so I feel like I can go and talk about this camera all day what it does and uh, you know the functions of it but to me, I always get a lot more out of, you know, seeing the camera in action. So what I'm going to do now is just play some footage and let you decide whether or not it's something that you're going to deal with or something that you don't want to deal with. I know the last thing that y'all came here to do is see me lift. But this is captured with a V770. That's the reason why I feel like it applies. As you can see, um, it's a bit of a dark room, but the camera's holding its own. It's able to go ahead and really just uh, have clear imaging. Now, 
if you feel like uh, the color is not really just right for you, you can color correct it. I did a little bit of color correction uh, myself, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. There's one thing that rings true for any single camera that you get. Lighting, lighting, and more lighting. That's very important. So just like I showed you a the camera in the dark room, I'm also showing you the camera in the light, which you can agree, it works a little bit better. And while I'm at it, before I forget, this thing has the most smoothest 120 frame slow motion frames. As you can go on to see, my bad for the moon, but not too bad on the slow motion though. So before I end this video, I was also wanted to really just cover the Panasonic imaging app. The imaging app helps with the camera um, transferring images to your phone. Also using your phone as a remote. So um, it adds a whole, you know, like another dimension of versatility to your, you know, camera. And the one thing that I do like about it is that it can also act as a um, camera system for your security. So you can go and hang it up, find some type of thing to go and charge it, and use it as a home camera. So um, there's all types of options there, even when you're done with the camera. You can use it for something else. So, I just figured I'd go in and tell you guys about the camera. You can go and find it on Amazon or, you know, um, what's the name of that damn thing? Amazon and eBay. I bought this for eBay for like 300 bucks. So, overall, not too bad. Now, here's my question. Do you have a similar camera to this? And please share something that you may know that I may not. You know the adage, sharing is caring. Share something.